in red and black. There is the Maligned starting roster, Peter Harrison in goal, Marcon Aldridge, Sergina Frankson, Rashawn Livingston, Nicholas Nelson. Nelson is only bettered by Bygrave and Green as the top scorers in the league at the moment. Dijon Grant, Garrick Stewart, Tyreek Wilson, Jeremy Nelson, Rashawn Plummer and Javon Brown. 4-4-2 is what they will be playing. Malines United, interesting move to put Maquan Aldridge as a striker alongside Nicholas Nelson. He usually plays in an attacking midfield role, Maquan Aldridge. Yeah, Arnett Gardens coming in here with a bit of patchy form. Broke a four-game winless streak with their win over Don Beholden last week. Eric Edwards in goal, Ezra Simpson, Joel Cunningham, Jaron Neal, Janoy Cunningham, Marlon Martin, Romeo Guthrie, their 23-year-old captain, Steve Clark, Fabian Reed, Parker Blacks, their ace goal scorer, returning to top fitness, Ronaldo Cephas and Shandy James. They'll be playing with a 4-5-1 on paper. Fabian Reed, a 56-goal man in his Premier League career. And that... Let's have a look at those highlights now from the six-goal game. Sean Grant just touching that one behind. As the Lions were under pressure here early. The Lions responding well early in the piece though. Stewart with a fine strike from almost 30 yards. Eric Edwards has to do well in goal for Arnett. Ezra Simpson's first touch here is very poor. Nicholas Nelson steals it, turns it on the inside here to Aldridge, who fights off the Cunninghams and slides the ball between the legs of Eric Edwards for the Malines go-ahead goal. Yes, here's Aldridge getting away. Joel and Janoy Cunningham chasing him. He gets away from both of them after receiving that pass from Nicholas Nelson. And Eric Edwards can't stop the effort from Aldridge, who scores his first goal of the season for Malines. Martin going forward here for Arnett. Cephas fighting off the challenge from Jeremy Nelson and rifles a firm right-footed strike to the near post. And Harrison fails to hold off. Arnett, a level at 1-1 here. Nelson does a fighting job here but can't keep Cephas off. Cephas gets his eighth goal of the season for Arnett Gardens. Simpson to Fabian Reed, who slides a perfect pass across here to the substitute Arboin. And Marlon Allen, who came on with him on the far post, makes no mistake. So that's the Arnett go ahead goal. 2 1, they lead it at this point. Look at the firm cross inside. Marlon Allen gets there first. And the 20 year old makes the cross look as good as it was. Arnett in front by two goals to one. And the Ronaldo celebration there from Marlon Allen. Molines had more shots to fire. Look at this left-footed strike from the Edwin Allen schoolboy star player, Jaheim Harris. Just got over that one left-footed. A tremendous strike that was. And pumped that one in. Jaheim Harris with a strike. Here's the go-ahead goal now for Malines. Nelson fending off the Ezra and Simpson challenge and Rivaldo Mitchell right there on spot to turn that one in past Eric Edwards. Yeah, very, very good goal there. Nicholas Nelson doing a mountain of work here to fend off the challenge from Ezra and Simpson and Rivaldo Mitchell finishing really well. 3-2 the scoreline at this point for Malines. They would have thought they won it here because they were now into stoppage time and they were leading 3-2. But look at the strike from Kimani Arboy. Wow! Almost 30 yards out. Drives a bullet-like right-footed effort. Peter Harrison has no chance. And the bearded one, Kimani Arboin, celebrates the sixth goal on the season. And what a special one that was. Earned a point for Arden. 3-3 in stoppage time. A game that paired poised to lose. A six-goal thriller. Arnett conceding three goals for the first time this season. But they were okay. Sir, they didn't lose it. Six goals on target for Arnett from 11 attempts. Also six, six shots on target from Molines as well. Eight attempted. 
26 fouls in the match, 14 of them committed by Mullines players. Mullines had two yellow cards, Arnett just one. Five corners forced by Arnett in the game, just one by Mullines. Both goalkeepers brought off three saves each, and Arnett Garns had marginally more possession at 51%. And uh, what a game this was, 3-3 the scoreline. Arnett not managing to close up on the leaders as much as they would have wanted to, dropping two points at home. But Kimani Arborn is our man of the match, and he's with Chris Taylor. Kimani, some of us have been surprised that you didn't start, but you look like you'll enjoy coming off the bench as a substitute. Yes. A super sub at that. Yes, most definitely. I mean, we didn't get the result we needed, but we still showed character and kept on going and held on to a draw. So we are still grateful. Have you ever scored a goal like that before? Yes, I've been doing it in Manning Cup under 20. I've been practicing in training as well. Well, it was perfectly executed. Talk to me about your season so far. Six goals on the season. Easily your best season in the Premier League. Yes, most definitely. But we still have a long way to go. And we're not rely on this. We have a far way to go. So we're thinking ahead right now. Are you disappointed that you didn't come away with a win here? Repeat. Are you disappointed that you didn't come away with a win? Yes, I'm, def I'm most, most, yes, I'm dif disappointed. <laughs> I'm lost of words. Excellent performance, Kimani. Thank All you. the best. Good goal. Enjoy it. Thanks so much. Kimani Arboy in there.